Mralingi Tuta Bela, Mralingi Tuta Moromuro Rui, El Lorenz, and those who are going to be tuning in here in Orior, Ma Babuldab, Ma Tal Ayal Angar, Ma even to the southwest. Janice, did you know that uh, now, uh, right now, as we speak, Nanya uh, Internet and Nara Southwest, Nanya Tobe, Ma Puluana, Ma Ma Sansorol already. It's already so. I got. I got live ma rogul togol mral ra internet anna musabel mora ayel gagarel bulul mral ngara south yeah so i mal mal nutal teal ngal chego bian il mal min host tal jesus talks material ngara 89.9 staff and everybody you know we wanna just nutal time and mal mira a say good morning to you all and and just say god bless you uh, you know, mal, the mal, how you say, the mal, we're blessed. We're blessed to have today because the very breath that we have is is very, very precious. Why? Leng seb edel otilil emral merenga sulela adios leng. If we don't have anything that we can think of that we can can give thanks to God. Well, one of the one of the things that we can do, which is it's it's yours that we can we are breathing, is the breath itself. So, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, I hope that you come and join this uh, hour. Well, it's less than hour now. It's like 55 minutes uh, to praise and worship our Lord. For God Himself says. Today is the day that he has given us, so we rejoice in it. And so no matter what challenges that we have, and uh, no matter what uh, lows or even the darkness that is going on in your life, I, I come to, to, to share with you the good news so that you may be able to rejoice. For that is what today's, uh, today is all about. It's all about God and his, his ways to be able to strengthen you, giving, give, give you uh, wisdom. And wisdom is, it begins with the fear of the Lord. Like we ask him, uh, what, what is it you want for me to do? Open my eyes, open my ears, Guide my feet to where I'm able to walk in. That's the thing where you, like in the morning. So this is just where I, I come and just like uh, offer this uh, opportunity for you and I to to give thanks and praise to the Lord and give him give him all honor. And, uh, that's what we're meant to do here on this earth is to, to hold on to his words and believe unto his words because his words brings life. His words bring the way of of being able to overcome and to also be grateful and also to love and also be kind and those those are the things of God. It's to bless this world and to bless the family. So before we do anything, we have to invite God into into this uh, this fellowship. Why? Because in the Word of God, Kalbibilia, in the Word of God, it says, "Where two or three are gathered in His name, He's in our midst." So. Um, here's the thing we have to understand right now there's how many of us there's two or there's more than two of us and God is rejoicing because he's seeing that there are the hungry there are the wounded there are the broken there are the lost who who this video will be able to reach this live and his words is gonna uh, reach those people and he shall heal them why because God is a healer He's going to empower them. Why? Because God has the authority to give power. And in his name, his name is above all names. So brothers and sisters out there, I, I, I come before you humbled and to say, how about you take this, this opportunity to give it to him and let everything else that's been that you've been struggling with, let it uh, be given unto the Lord through the prayers and through the word of God and through this, this fellowship right now. So... So let us pray. Let us invite God to truly be the, the source of wisdom and love and, and mercy and grace that shall be poured out right now in Jesus' mighty name. So let us pray. Father God, 
Lord God who is hev in heaven, you are holy above, above anything that we understand. You are, you are the God and you are the creator. You are the father. You are the father of Jesus Christ who came and died on the cross for our sins. Lord, let, let the words that are going to be spoken today be, with, be filled with, with your love for you are love. Be filled with, be filled with strength so that it may give that person strength who's, who's going through some time of trial where he's, he or she feels weak right now. So Father God, we come before you humbled. And if we said anything or did anything or thought any kind of way that it co that comes against your righteousness and your holiness, Lord God, we ask for forgiveness right now. And if we still have anything that we're holding against our brothers and our sisters right now, Father God, give us the opportunity to, to look upon the cross where your son Jesus Christ died. And before he died, he forgave us. So, because we are forgiven, we are able to forgive and follow Jesus' way. So, Father God, bless my brother, bless my sister who's out there who's struggling with unforgiveness. And for them to be able to forgive those people who have hurt them in their words, in their, th in their, in their actions toward my brother and my sister out there. So, Father God, we pray for our children who's, uh, who's, uh, like they're, they're going to school, they're, they're, they're doing the many things that, you know, that, they're, they're, they're trying to find out more about themselves, Lord. Now, here as parents right now, Lord, we pray for our children to, to be able to truly understand that with God, they can do any, anything that is, that is holy and righteousness, that they are able to be good people, to be good, and to be good is to be in God. And so, Father God, give us parents the ability to to understand you more and to to believe in you and because you are the giver of faith you are the you are the one who who reveals your son Jesus Christ to us so we pray for the the very parents and grandparents and the bloodline of each Palawan and each uh, foreigner that is living here on Palau and all all the people that you've uh, uh, you've set forth in their bloodline that they may be able to share your word father God so Lord we we pray for our, our leaders of each of these islands. We pray for the, the president of Palau. We pray for the ministers that, he, that work with the president. We pray for the senators. We pray for the delegates of all 16 states. We pray for the governors of all 16 states. We pray for each and every, every legislator of, uh, of uh, each and every state. Father God, we pray for the, for the chiefs, all the chiefs, uh, each and every one of them. Father God, we pray for all the women, all the women. Father God, we pray for the, the, for the men who are, who are husbands, who are the, the leaders of the household. Father God, we pray for the, uh, the young men and, and women who are trying to find themselves that they may be able to find you Lord and not to not to spend their good years in in drugs and alcohol father God father God we pray for the sick we pray for the lonely we pray for the broken we come right now Lord with all our heart and and to truly believe in you that you are the God who does everything and that we surrender for it is written Psalm 55 22 that we cast all our cares and all our burdens unto you and you shall sustain us so we come as uh, intercessors of the of the nation of Palau to 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 surrender the the, the challenges of Palau and the challenges of uh, the islands of the Pacific Islands and for us islanders to be able to come to this humbleness and knowing that we are created to truly take authority in, in our islands because of Jesus Christ and we come humbly before you and just want to surrender to you Lord. We thank you so much and through many things that we, we sing and praise. So Father God, let this song you know, let this song be all about you. So, Father God, uh, give us um, give us the opportunity to be able to to share our gifts, and those gifts are are to be able to sing with the, with the, with with all our hearts and all our our uh, you know with everything that we got. So today we s surrender this song. You know, God knows you. Woo! 
Dios sembrar me donar liang clem. Wherever you are, whatever you're doing, just give praise. Pray for your sons and daughters. Pray for your grandchildren. For God knows them. Thank you, Perry. Wherever you are, God bless you for sharing your gift. And we may be able to play it today. For you are an amazing created by God Himself to do your will. Sing songs. Woo! Hallelujah. God, you're so good. Hallelujah. God knows you. God loves you. God wants you to hold on to Him. This is all about praying and giving thanks. Give thanks to the Lord. Because He knows you. He created you. We are here to encourage one another. To overcome. Now and forever. We don't need to share ourselves because it is God who shows Himself. He shows Himself. He glorifies to glorify Himself because He doesn't need all. God is good. God is great. God is awesome. We praise you, Lord. We give you thanks. And we just say thank you, Lord, for today. Thank you for our children. Thank you for our parents. Thank you for our uncles and our aunties. Thank you for our leaders. Thank you for the, the lessons that you continue to share with us that we may be able to learn. Thank you for the Holy Spirit, your spirit, who is able to truly just guide us and be gentle and to truly be gentle yet true, gentle but yet firm. So Father God, bless those who are listening right now, wherever they are, that they may be blessed abundantly beyond their understanding, that if they're struggling with finances, that they will surrender their worries unto the Lord, that if they're struggling with health, Lord God, that they ask for healing in Jesus' mighty name and for us to pray right now that there may be healing right now miracles and signs and wonders that will start happening when we believe in the name of Jesus Christ so we come together Lord and pray for we are islanders we are people who are spiritual we are people who love one another but yet we must love one another through Christ Jesus and the ways and the truth and the life of Jesus Christ thank you Lord let, let the fire of the Lord, the burning desire to be able to be transformed and to repent and to turn away from the ways of the old and to turn to Jesus Christ who shall renew our mind and transform our life and to transform this nation to become holy and righteous because our God is holy and righteous. Our God is strong. Our God is all about doing what the kingdom, which is the kingdom of God. Our God is great. Jesus, you are amazing. You are amazing. Lord, so we come before you just doing what we do not understand, that we do not know how, but because of the Holy Spirit, He shall and He will and He is teaching us how to, how to worship you, how to give you thanks, how to praise you, how to surrender, how to pray, how to be able to be kinder, how to be able to truly give with a, a giving heart, how to be able to stand up in where others sit down, how to be able to speak when others are, are being quiet about your righteousness and your holiness. So Father God, you know each and every one of us and you know what, what we're created to, to do. So we come and we surrender to you right now in the name of the mighty God. 
Jesus Christ who came and died on the cross. Who, who because of him we are able to, to walk in the spirit because of the Holy Spirit. The spirit of the living God who raised Jesus from the dead. Who is able to, to truly make the word of God be revealed right now. Right now to the people who are listening right now and to the people who need the truth. Which is the truth shall set you free and that is who Jesus Christ is. So we come again Lord and thank you. In the mighty name of Jesus, above all names, the Lamb of God, the, the one and only, King of kings, the Lord of lords. Because you are amazing. So we thank you. In the name of Jesus. Amen. God is good. God is good. huh? So, brothers and sisters, you know, through prayers, through worship, we're able to come and allow the very presence of Lord to flow through each and every one of us. Because the very God who created heaven and earth his words is that he is in us and when we start speaking of him he will will come out and and just fill this this atmosphere this this island these offices these houses with his love which is his words so i'm just gonna start with the word of god because it's important that we go straight to the word of god and we go to psalm 90 <laughs> Excuse me. We go to Psalm 90, and it's written, The eternity of God and man's frailty. We cannot do anything without God. Because once we start doing things without God, we are doing the things of our own understanding, our, on our own desires, which is the desires to, 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 to satisfy the flesh. Now, the flesh is always satisfied with the things of this world. And the challenge about that is that when we do these things, uh, the things of this world, uh, we, we, we don't know which one is right and which one is wrong because we, we, become, we, we, we end up worshiping those things of this world and we put it beyond, above God. And what God is saying is, let his words be be the the only thing that you we 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 rely on okay so it is written it, it is written lord you have been our dwelling place in all generations before the mountains were brought forth or ever <clears throat> you or ever you had formed the earth and the world even from the from everlasting to everlasting, you are God. You turn men to destruction and say, Return, O children of men. For a thousand years in your sight are like yesterday when it is past. And like a watch in the night, you carry, carry them away like a flood. They are like, a, they are like a sleep. In the morning they are like grass which grows up. In the morning it flourishes and grows up. In the evening it is cut down and withers, for we have been consumed by your anger, and by your wrath we are terrified. You have set our inequities before you, our secret sins in the light of your countenance, for all our days have passed away in your wrath. We finish our years like a sigh. The days of our lives are seventy years. And if by reason of strength they are eighty years, yet the, their boast is only labor and sorrow. For it is soon cut off, and we fly away. Who knows the power of your anger? For as the fear of you, so is your wrath. So teach us to number our days, that we may gain a heart of wisdom. Return, O Lord, how long? And have compassion on your servants. Oh, satisfy us early with your mercy. That we may rejoice and be glad all our days. Make us glad according to the days in which you have afflicted us. The years in which we have seen evil. Let your work appear to your servants. And your glory to their children. And let the beauty of the Lord our God be upon us and establish the work of our hands for us. Yes, establish the work of our hands. Father God, we thank you so much. Brothers and sisters who are out there, 
We are meant to come to this earth and to be able to, to dwell in the very presence of our God. And the presence of our God is His words. And it is through the Holy Spirit who shows us and, 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 and gives us the opportunity to enact. Meaning, we have to allow the Word of God to do His will through you and me. Meaning, let us be obedient, huh? Let us not re be rebellious. Let us not go against God and, and his, his ways. Meaning, if we are struggling with, uh, with uh, fear, fear of the many things that is, is uh, happening in our island right now, and we're worried about all those things, God is telling us, don't worry about it. And am I telling you just to forget it? No, no that's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is that, don't worry, meaning to turn to God because he's the one who's going to give you this, the peace of mind that he will give you wisdom, meaning he'll give you opportunities. He'll give you uh, uh, ways to overcome those challenges that are in your life and for you to enact them, meaning the Holy Spirit will teach you how to, if you're struggling with money, the Holy Spirit will teach you how to make money. There's nothing wrong with making money. But when we worry and when we think that money is going to be the, the center of happiness, then that is truly a rebellious mindset against the ways of God, which says he is the very peace of mind that will be given unto us. So we come to God and say, Lord, this is what's troubling us, troubling me. This is what needs to happen. Even leaders must understand. Leaders must understand that every decision that they make in regards to the finances of our island, they must come to God himself and say, Lord God, how am I able to use your wisdom to make laws or make regulations or make whatever plans that will bring bring wealth into our nation and that it should not uh it should not uh, uh make our leaders uh, uh what you call this uh that as leaders that they do not stand in the middle meaning they stand with god and fear god and not be not be influenced by the outside world regards to bringing bringing new ideas to try to to enslave us to the 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 ways that uh, <laughs> you know I'm, I'm speaking like this but i hope you understand that there are many ideas that are coming that are are going to be challenging us as a people of Palau and all the islands. One of the things is, is that God's words is this. Do not commit adultery. Okay? Do not lie. Do not gossip. Do not, do not hate your brother. Do not be jealous. Do not, do not, do not, do not be drunk. So all many things. And do not, you know, do not lose the sight of your identity in Christ. Do not. Why? Because God knows more than we can ever understand. And with all the things that is being done, we will pay the consequences if, it is, if, it's, if it's not, a, uh, uh, not a righteous to God. So I pray to God right now for all our leaders. I pray to God for all our leaders. You know, yes, we struggle with our ec economy. I, I pray I pray that you guys understand that we are behind you. We're not against you. We, 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 we pray for you as leaders to truly understand that you are put into that position because God allowed it. Now the question is, what are you going to do about it? Are you going to are you going to bring uh, these new ideas that comes with money? Or are you going to stand with God's uh, grace and mercy and, and power that he will bring peace he will bring healing he will bring he will bring many great ideas into your into your household and your 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 office and he will bless you and your staff and he will bless you abundantly he will protect you so i speak i speak as one man who who loves the lord and he and who's being humbled every day and to to truly say leaders and 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 people of influence Understand that God, God loves you, and we do not know what you guys are going through. 
We do not know the pressure that you guys are, are, are going through. We do not know what, what the outside world, meaning other nations, is, is, is bringing, against, bringing to you to, to try to, to make your mind understand them. But here's one thing is we pray for you. So I'm going to pray right now for you leaders because you, we, all need, we, we all need great leaders. And leaders, you know, just like King David, he, he had the humbleness and the joy of the Lord in him. And so, so we come together as, uh, as, you know, not only for Palau, but we pray for, for the leaders of Yap, you know. We pray for the leaders of Kostra, the FSM Islands. We pray for leaders, the governors of uh, the governor of, of Saipan. We pray for the, the leaders of Guam. We pray for the, the leaders of the United States. We pray for the leaders of, of all this Pacific Island, the Polynesian Islands, you know. This is the opportunity. We don't just come and just talk about prayer, but we do pray. So brothers and sisters, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, come, let's pray right now for our leaders. Okay? So let us pray. Father God, we pray again once more. Lord God, we come before you humbled with my, all my brothers and sisters who are, who are truly understanding that with great leaders, they are the ones who are great in you, thinking in you, believing in you, and doing all this for you. So Father God, we pray for every single leader right now in Jesus mighty name that they may be blessed right now that whatever is attacking them and their children that whatever it is Lord that we come in the name of Jesus and we pray for them right now we pray that they might they may and they may be able to truly be humbled in your ways, in your truth, in your life, that they may be able to truly come and open the Bible, that they may open their minds and to truly come and ask you for help in making right decisions that are righteous and holy that will bless their people. For you allowed them to be able to sit on that seat that, that, that will make decisions for our islands. So Father God, we come together as your people who fear you, for we will not talk bad about our leaders. We will, and if we did talk bad about our leaders, we ask for forgiveness. For we do not curse them, but we bless them with your words, that you shall give them wisdom, that you shall, be, you shall give them strength, that you shall give them boldness and courage. So Father God, we pray right now, and we speak Jesus over them. We speak life over them right now. So we speak right now in the mighty name of Jesus, Amen. And if our leaders, we come on, on behalf of our leaders right now. If our leaders done anything or said anything or thought anything or is thinking anything that comes against your ways, Lord, we pray for them right now and we ask that you forgive them and have mercy on them in Jesus' mighty name. God is good. See, that's, that's, that's the thing. We cannot, we cannot speak ill or we cannot curse people brothers and sisters i know there's so many there's so much calamity and malbutoga uh, challenges in our in our islands there's so much challenges in our islands as christians you must understand that we must come together and allow the word of god to be able to truly you know be the words that come out of our mouth okay and and here's one thing that I want to read. I want to read about, I'm going to read chapter 1 and 2. It's 1 John, <coughs> 1 John, chapter 1 and chapter 2. And it's, I'm going to start with uh, verse 5. And it is written, This is the message which we have heard from him and declared to you, that God is light and in him is no darkness at all. If we say that we have fellowship with him and walk in darkness, we lie and do not practice the truth. But if we walk in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship with one another. And, and the blood of Jesus Christ, his son, cleanses us all from sin. If we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. If we say that we have not sinned, we make him a liar, and his word is not in us. Chapter 2, my little children, these things I write to you so that you may not sin. And if anyone sins, we have an advocate 
with the Father, Jesus Christ, the righteous. And he himself is the propitiation for our sins. And not for ourselves, not for ours only, but also for the whole world. Amen, amen. Now, by this we know that we know him. If we keep his commandments, he, he who says, I know him, and does not keep his commandments, is a liar. And the truth is not in him. But whoever keeps his word, truly the love of God is perfected in him. By this we know that we are in him. He who says he abides in him ought himself also to walk just as he walked. Brothers, I write no new commandment to you, but an old commandment which you have, which you have had from the beginning. The old commandment is the word which you have heard from the beginning. Again, a new commandment I write to you, which, which thing is true in him and in you, because the darkness is passing away and the true light is already shining. He who says he is in the light and, uh, and hates his brother is in darkness until now. He who loves his brother abides in the light and there is no cause for stumbling in him. But he who hates his brother is in darkness and walks in darkness and does not know where he is going because the darkness has blinded his eyes. I write to you, little children, because your sins are forgiven, you for his name's sake. I write to you, fathers, because you have known him who is from the beginning. I write to you, young men, because you have overcome the wicked one. I write to you, little children, because you have known the Father. I, write, I have written to you, fathers, because you have known him who is from the beginning. I have written to you, young men, because you are strong, and the word of God abides in you, and you have overcome the wicked one. Do not love the world or the things in the world. If anyone loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life is not of the Father, but is of the world. And the world is passing away in the lust of it, but he who does the will of God abides forever. Little children, it is the last hour and as you have heard that the Antichrist is coming, even now many Antichrists have come, by which we know that it is the last hour. They went out from us, but they were not of us. For if they had been of us, they would have con continued with us. But they, but, they, but they went out that they might be made manifest that none of them were of us. But you have an anointing from the Holy One, and you know all things. I have not written to you because you do not know the truth, but because you know it, and that no lies is of the truth. Who is a liar but he who denies that Jesus is the Christ? He is Antichrist who denies the Father and the Son. Whoever denies the Son does not have the Father either. He who acknowledges the Son has the Father also. Therefore, let that abide in you, which you heard from the beginning. If what you heard from the beginning abides in you, you also will abide in the Son and in the Father. And this is the promise that he has promised us, eternal life. These things I have written to you concerning those who try to deceive you. But the anointing which you have received from him abides in you. And you do not need that anyone teach you, but as the same anointing teaches you concerning all things, and is true, and is not a lie. And just as it has taught you, you all will abide in him. And now, little children, abide in him, that when he appears, we may have confidence and not be ashamed before him at his coming. If you know that he is righteous, you know that everyone who practice righteousness is born of him. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. God is righteous and God is true. Recognize that God is, when we hear this, huh? you, let, let, me, let me, let me, let me, 
listen to what uh, chapter 2, where chapter 2, verse 12 says. I write to you, little children. Huh? I write to you, fathers. I write to you, young men. I write to you, little children. I have written to you, fathers. Huh? Why? Why is this? Because he's really addressing each and every one of us. He's addressing us that we need, that we must come to him young. We must come to him. <coughs> and how do we do that? Parents, parents, you have a responsibility. We have a responsibility to bring our children to God. The passion and the, 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 the understanding that, you know, that our children need education, that our children need to eat, that our children need to, to exercise, that kind of sense, that, that's, that sense of urgency, of love toward our children must be, the, must be even more when it comes to our children getting to know God. Why? Because when we bring our children to God, discipline, respect, honor, courage, boldness, and all the things that are of God, that is in God, and is for God, that is to allow our children to have these, these traits, the characteristics of God, it's your responsibility. You've been given, we've been given these, these young, uh, young humans <laughs> to be able to be discipled, to be able to be pastored. And you, my brother, you, my sister, your prayers as a parent has great, great, uh, great, power in it because God says when you come to me in, in, in prayer he will hear you he, he wants you to trust him trust him more than you can you can trust what the world has to offer your your children I'll share a testimony about my mother my mother you know when I was young uh, I see uh, when I was like a teenager or something I I saw my pictures of when I was I was like a uh, three, four years old when I was a baby. Yeah? And when I, when I looked at those pictures, I looked so cute. I looked like, you know, like a baby. Like, and I'm pretty sure many, many parents and everybody, you know, they look at their, their children like, oh, how cute when they're babies and everything. And, and then when, when I grew up and then I started, you know, doing a lot of crazy stuff, you know, my mother, who loves me so much, and, you know, she, 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 she prayed for me. My mother has the fear of God. And she prays for not only me, but my brothers and my sisters. And, 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 and here's why I'm trying to share this with you. <laughs> I remember one time, like, this is when I was already, like, uh, when I was already into drugs, and I was like 30-something years old. And uh, one morning, I, and I'm into ice, huh? I'm, I'm into drugs. And I, I came out one morning, and there was a big argument in regards to uh, situations in our house. And, and, and then I was the aggressor, because I was, I was like, I, I don't know if I haven't slept how many days, and you know, I'm just, my mind is not right, and I didn't have God in me. Uh, and you know, so I, so I started you know, causing so much. And this is seven o'clock in the morning, and I'm like, getting mad at my, my auntie and my mom and my sister. And words were exchanged, and, and it was not good words, brothers and sisters. It was like arguing, like even bad words were being said, like cussing and everything. And then some words were, were spoken that were like, get out of this house, uh, don't come back, and this and that. And you know, right there and then when I heard that word, that word that, you know, get out of this house, and you know, it, it those words really, really cut through my, 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 my very soul. It wounded my soul. Why? Because I wouldn't ever believe that, any, that my own family members would, would, like, would, would go to a point where they would tell me to leave my very house, you know, where I grew up in. So I said to myself, I'm going to kill myself. So I, I, I walked away, and I took a rope, and I was going to go and kill myself. But, uh, but God was with me that day. And uh, God 
because I'm sitting here. I'm able to testify the love of a mother. Because when I came back to my house, I heard my mother praying in my room. So brothers and sisters, you as parents, <clears throat> understand how important your role is in your children's life. Even if you do not have any relationship with them and you don't understand what they're going through, only God knows what they're going through. And when you pray to Him, just know that He loves your, your children more than you can ever love Him. Because why? Because Jesus has died on the cross. John 3.16 says, For God so loved the world that He sent His only begotten Son, and all those who believe unto Him shall not perish but have eternal life. And that Jesus did not come to condemn or nor judge the world. He came to save the world. So if your sons are going through, your sons and your daughters are going through something that is beyond your understanding, go to the love of God which is here to save. God loves you. God will empower you. God will give you all that is needed. He has already given you all that is needed. So I come to you, brothers and sisters, to testify as a son of the great importance of a prayer that is done every day for our children. Yes, our children are going through, through many things right now. Our children, are their identity is being, being hijacked by the kingdom of darkness and the ways that is not of, of God. Our identity as Palawans is that it is in God. It's a godly Palawan identity. And only God can show us how to be great Palawan leaders, how to be great Palawan fathers, how to be great Palawan mothers, how to be great Palawan uncles and aunties, how to become a great Palawan brother, how to be a great Palawan sister. And all those, those are in, in the Word of God because He is righteous and He is holy. I'm here just to tell you that let us walk in the light. Let us encourage one another. Let us not curse. Let us bless. Let us be able to truly be grateful for the, the very breath. And if you're struggling with suicidal thoughts, and if you're struggling with brokenness in, 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 your, in your relationship with others, come to Christ. Give your life to Christ. Give yourself to Christ and say, Lord, I do not know how to, to, to heal because I'm, I, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm not a healer, but you are a healer. Admit that we are sinners, that, that we, we are broken. That You know what a sinner is? Do you know what a sinner is? A sinner is a person who continues to, to, to go and, 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 and be slave to a sin. What does it mean to be a slave to a sin? It's to believe that you do not have power against this sin, against this temptation, against these thoughts, against whatever habit that, that causes you to, to fall into sin. But I come before you and tell you and share with you that I, I used to do all these things and, and one thing that is, that is that I do not want to go back to it. I do not want to curse. I do not want to lie. I do not want to, why? Because it's not about me. It's not about my righteousness, but it's about His righteousness, His holiness, and it's about Him. So I come to you and I, and I, I, I ask, what are you struggling with? Before the end of this, uh, this uh, talk show, we're going to pray and we're going to, we're going to uh, allow people to come to Christ. I don't see where you are. I don't, you might be listening somewhere out there at the top of top or in your office or in your car or at your house or even in the hospital. But here's the thing that you must understand. We are all together in fellowship in the Spirit right now. The Holy Spirit is bringing us together right now to be able for us to surrender that which is our weakness or our, 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 our sins. Why? Because it is written that, what, what he says, 
when you come to him and, and, and surrender yourself, he's the only one that cleanses you. And today you will be cleansed by the blood of Jesus Christ that was, uh, was, that was shed on the, on the cross. And it's about repentance. We must want to stop. You must make a choice today to stop, to not believe into the deception. What's a deception? What's a deception in Palawan word? <coughs> a deception is, I, I, okay, I'm not going to try to, I'm not going to try to uh, explain it in Palawan, but I'm going to explain it in English, okay? So, the truth is, some, is, is God. There's only one truth, and that is God, God's word. Now, a lie is anything that is against God. Anything that takes away, anything that takes away the righteousness and the mindset and the, the love of God or anything that takes away from God is a lie. What's an example? An example is our society nowadays has said is giving us this new age religion, the new age where we are the ones who are gonna, we are the ones who are doing things, that we are the one casting out demons, we are the one, we are, we have the, we, we, we you know, that, it, it can turn into the part where if it's all about us, then that's, be, it has become a, decep, a, a, a deception. When we believe that it's all about us, then it be, we've been deceived. What I'm talking about is that it's all about God, all about Jesus, all about the Holy Spirit. Sometimes I'm asked, Jacob, you're so black and white. Well, God says he does not like the lukewarm. You, ha you have to be either hot or cold. You got to choose a side. You got to make a choice. You cannot be left alone. Okay, so what does it mean? Do not be deceived. This, do not believe into the lies. Whatever that comes to you in thought or in struggle or in anything, even the things that bring you joy, bring it to God and ask God. Bring it to the Word of God and bring it. Anything that has to do with raising your children, uh, how to earn money, how to overcome uh, depression, anxiety, suicidal thoughts, uh, whatever medicine you're taking, you know, bring it to God and have a conversation with God about everything that is going on in your life. That's all I'm here to say. That's all I'm trying to, to share with you. And know that God has a great purpose in your life. He created you for you to be a Palawan, a Yapis, a, a, a Marshallese, Chukis, Kosrayan, Punapayan, Saipanese, I mean Chamorro from Guam and Saipan, you're Hawaiian, you're, you're Portuguese, you're, you're, you're Fijian, you're, you're Tongan, you're Samoan, you're, Kiribati, you're from Kiribati, you're, I mean, you, you see what I'm getting, right? God created you to be able to do the many great things in his name, for he will do it in you. You just have to be able to come and surrender. And how do you surrender? When you surrender and admit that you cannot do it alone and that you allow him to, to flow through you, you allow him to, to come and li to, to live within you and to transform your life from brokenness to wholeness, God, all God, so we have a few more minutes left and I'm gonna we're gonna pray and we're gonna we're gonna give thanks to God who who does all things and I see uh, Sal is uh, about to give me the 10 minute uh, part where we we're able to just you know give thanks to to the Lord for for God is amazing oh, we gotta before we close okay let's uh, there's a caller thank you caller Caller on the air. Oi, sal malungit to tao. Chego, malungit to tao le gorgao. Ba nungay la pugura ni brother. Yagi ba di swa kal kamen pering ng mga rongsis. Wase, you cannot serve two masters at the same time. Abili gorgao. Adiyakan sebenarnya tinggal lagi, 
en árabe que llegue este árbol árabe. Regalos, el ser hándre presente en tu, el gambro en el morado. O el sendia. A comer se la botó con la raja de la en el barco que viene la ali. El alcín se está haciendo mayoritil a ver si el árbol árabe. A una brista claumbra en ti, el morado. Le ngara, ngari ako to clone influencer of rule of real sins. El al sins, ngara ako din din sa tutaw, em mga tmok kristil el mo ureo na malarti ang ubaw. A ureo, say ako to misisi el influence, raklangar din ngara ako to yan lula. E ti agir, selwa sea, a ureo ngari sila klingit, se mala mala niya wala niya audo amid sa audo arisilak niya se majority ang mga albulul ang mga dimdim sa usig ng audo lugum ka wai kan burter nil mora askelak laumbra se yekaw a open na maroma si mga babuwan sa gilim ng majority ang mga dimdim Emelak kerau bau, tinggal tiada berulah. Apa contoh? Seral kau mumbai tiket terul, lulul bau bau de ayah Yesus apabila film kau mumbai mengubah anggaran hari kila, tetap mula tuasin mereka latak semua hutin tuasin, tam peti kila anggap desa tuasin siasing tangga hari, tetap mula tuasin. Kokir aga asisa, menghuti bahasa mua kokir asisa rumusan. Siapa lagi kami tengah berbah, lep meralones, betul lagi jadi siapa yang ada merula ombin, el sketch yang dirubah, kamu betul ka askohir ti, bambiri, ekeungin blai. Emla wes setiap tinggal lagi berdua setiap tinggal dia akan sebab even mix satu dua tuh. For example dia akan even mix rarang mama or kena. Kami sulang mana set program berkau. Color, thank you so much, color for the for the tal malungil sharing. Oi, there's no problem with money. It's just the love of money is the root of all evil. When you love money more than when money becomes the main headline or everything in your life, then that becomes the love of money. But what God is telling us is to have the love of God, to have the fear of God, and to have the peace of God, that he shall supply you with all your needs. Why? For it is written that you seek the kingdom of God and his righteousness. All things will be added unto you. And Coming from a person who had, who has nothing like, like you know, like, and who's God is building up right now, I can tell you that God is allowing me to start making a little bit of uh, 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 money. But here's the thing: it's not to make me feel comfortable, but it's for me to be able to to share, to share with others. You know, I sell fish, but here's the thing. I, I always ask God, how am I able to use this selling of fish to be able to bless others? So it's not to become a millionaire, it's not to become comfortable and everything, but it's to be able to ask him, how, how can I be of use today with what you are given me to be able to take care of? For when you take care of the small, he will give you more. He will, he will give you more to what your ability is able to do so. Amen? So uh, we're going to pray right now. And uh, uh, close up with uh, with uh, with sharing of uh, coming to Christ, Janice. It's really important uh, that you know coming to Christ. It, it's Romans ten verse eight and nine, I believe. It says, "When you confess with your mouth and believe in your heart that that uh, Jesus is the Son of God, and He came to die on this on, on the earth on the cross for your sins and mine, and He 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 died and rose again from the dead on the third day by the power of the Holy Spirit, and He went to heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father and will come again. When you confess that." 
Not only just saying it, but when you confess it and you believe it in your heart that you have to change from these ways that continues to hold you in bondage. When you come to Christ and you give your life to Christ, he will transform you. He will lead you. He will empower you. He will give you all the things that is of the kingdom. That's why he came to earth. And that's why the, 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 the understanding of the cross is very important. We must understand. We must repent. We must turn away from the, the, the wicked ways of this world that takes us away from God. We must turn away from the wicked ways of our mouth, cursing instead of blessing. We must turn away from our wicked ways of gossiping. We must turn away. I mean, there's so many things. But God has done it all, and he's, he's, he's waiting for you to come to him. And so... We're going to ask people to receive Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior today, right now. Right now, for God, God is, is good. God is, God, is, God is here, brothers and sisters. And he's waiting for you to come to his kingdom and just enjoy what he has for you and to be a soldier. Amen. So, let us pray. Let us come to the cross. You know, these few minutes. I'm just going to ask for five minutes more, right? Okay? Yeah, that, we're almost out of time. But wherever you are, let us give our life to Christ today. Why? Because today, God is giving us the opportunity to breathe the very fresh, alive air that he shall breathe into you. So brothers and sisters, let us pray. Repeat after me. Lord Jesus Christ, I come before you humbled. I admit I am a sinner in my thoughts, in my words and in my actions. Please forgive me. Today, I destroy, I reject, I renounce all promises, covenants that I have made to the devil, to people, and to the kingdom of darkness that come against your words. I bind them and I surrender, surrender all of it to you, Lord. I believe that you, Jesus, you are the Son of God. You came to earth and died on the cross for my sins. On the third day, you rose again from the dead. You ascended into heaven and you are seated at the right hand of the Father. You will come again to judge the living and the dead. I thank you for you have done it all. Because I receive you today as my Lord and my Savior, I surrender myself, my heart, my soul, my spirit, my mind, and my body to you. And I invite the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of the living God, to live within me. Lead me, guide me, strengthen me, empower me in your ways, in your truth, and in your life. I thank you, and I love you. Teach me how to love you like you love me. Teach me how to love others as you love them. Teach me how to forgive as you forgave me. Now into eternity. In the mighty name of Jesus, who is King, who is Lord over Palau, over myself and all islands and all countries in the world. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. God is good, God is good.
Brothers and sisters, we're going to close, and we're going we're gonna to close real quick with a prayer. Just real one more. That was to receive Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. And if you, you didn't, uh, if you, if you didn't, uh, if you still want to, you can always uh, go back, you know, you know, uh, go back and, and uh, listen. Or you, you can just have a one-on-one -on -one with Christ and be led by him. By the Holy Spirit. So now let us pray for all the people who are struggling right now. We, there's many people who are struggling with, with, with decision making. Everybody is struggling with decision making. Let us pray for all those who are addicted to drugs. All those who are bro in a broken relationship. All those who are in the hospital. All those who are in jail. All those who are physically, emotionally, sexually abused. All those who are suicidal. All those who need the very presence of God to to touch their heart right now to feel the presence to feel the area that they're in so let us pray because we believe in in the power of God and not our ourselves it's 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 about him doing what he does best so let us pray I'm gonna pr I'm gonna try my best to pray in Palan right now hey hey <laughs> Ngatel belura belau mat aygal bebira belul moreng serat tegingnya matel video kau obah kontrol ni rubah el agi mal terobra tel grusur kau Yesus Kristus sam lader ni agi mal melolnit Ako mosu beser gamam, rayal tagoi maldas ma rayal blagaradal el dal mal maltra tagingem. Rubag al Dios agi mal me malulul girir trigel ngal gam ma material adal el soril malara klangar tire rubag rubag right now e rubag blesser tire mo otia Tell the ticket rental digal tanga sab emel fill el mal fill them up el tira mo mtingay they're not alone eruba they're not alone eruba magimal malulul girir trial saal mardil el mal makitarang rire lang eruba agimal malulul other bela ma other aygal islands niyera Material smear, material, ngara galbus, material, material ngara alsela relationship el dagal ungil el ngara madam el rubag, rubag, mausube se mal, mal, kagamral muy rabtig reng ma, klug klubo ab, you're filled with mercy el rubag, mong el agi mal, hotel. Parents, ma grandparents, ma leaders, el el mal mal leaders ay galig el esyal met mal el mal ngarang klela Jesus Kristo el malulu el gira trial rang algam trial rang algam el el other bela ma other ay gal bekel bedengel neighboring islands ay rubak rubak ngosugo mam. Ngos ngos ko mamel mo mo niya sa doktra Dios doktra ra doktel dagal del mo madigay dagal sa pamamel mrula igel toy el mal malt el ngarang claim al sugum at yagi spend that time el ubeng game magimal ng atang el malaw mral ka uling digal tang a Dios digal tang a madigay rogul toy el ang ma el mo raar Marubak, agi mal melulul girir tigel, rangal gamel girir mo pastors, ma padre, ma material mo digons, ma material, you know even material young generation eh marubak agi mal melulul for their life we speak Jesus agi mal melogo Jesus el murak langar tire marubak, mo sabiril mo step into their destiny el mal nguwa Jesus el murak langar tire marubak, el mo mral tal mal mal tal rael el gawo na rulil mo sabamamel loyak Kau el momentanya sel kelamaran el kau na oti masel kelangar el kau na oti lah tel tel tegingem rubah kemal musulang blessed tel radio station ma material staff ma material manggal ma senator el el he's the one who's allowing a tegingem el go through this area rubah so rubah kemal musulang Thank you. There's no other way that we can El Sabamamel say thank you, but all we can say is Amen and Amen 
because you have done it all. Kana ruli, kana madra urus, and you already kana you rose again from the dead. So you've done it all, and let us truly trust in you and believe in you. So we surrender the rest of our days and be joyful for you are you are joy and you are in us. So we again we thank you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Brothers and sisters, thank you. God bless you. God keep you. The next uh the next uh talk show Jesus talks is going to be on June the 24. What's that? June 24. It's going to be on June 24th. And I, I want to put this out there for you who, for you who's out there that is being convicted to, meaning you have this desire to come and, and join me, I invite you. <laughs> I invite you to come. I, 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 I pray that uh, God will lead you to be able to come and, and share your good, great, amazing testimony to the world and to our fellow brothers and sisters. Amen. Uh, God bless you. Uh, Janice, we're going to have a, a Jesus campaign on Friday from 3 to 6. And uh, if you want to come and hold signs and just praise the Lord on that day, please come and join us. So it's going to be a, a Jesus campaign, campaign for Jesus, uh, Friday, 3 o'clock to 6 o'clock. So God bless you, God keep you, and have faith, and do not worry, and continue to pray, and be intimate with our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. God bless you.